Hi, and welcome back to Mama Four Boys. Uh, tonight, I am making uh, petite sirloin, top sirloin steaks on the Blackstone griddle. Uh, kicking it up with some Spice Island ground chipotle and our steak seasoning from Aldi's. Uh, I'm also going to make a steak sauce that is going to uh, be made out of cream cheese and A1 steak sauce with some special seasonings in it and some fresh green onions. Uh, so it's going to be lovely and uh, we're gonna uh, plate that with a fresh uh, salad with onions and uh, either ranch dressing or uh, creamy Italian. But uh, so to start out with, I'm, uh, I've got our top sirloin steaks from Aldi's. This package here was $8.81 uh, and their, their petite sirloins are are absolutely lovely so I'm gonna I've already put a little seasoning on my tray uh, lined it with foil so that when I lay the steaks on they get their one one side gets coated a little bit um, get this last one out so you can see I've got six of them the other package was right about the same price they they're they're never too very expensive Let me get one glove off here so I'm going to coat the top of this with uh, the steak seasoning also. I'm going to light my Blackstone griddle and let it get up to temperature. You always want to let that get up to temperature before you start cooking on your Blackstone. Um, okay, I'm going to pat that in. I'm going to add some of this uh, ground chipotle. And I think that's going to be lovely. We're going to cook these on a time, with the time method here. We're going to cook them for two minutes a side. Uh, so we get an even cook on all the steaks, uh, and it's just going to turn out lovely. These should be wonderful steaks when they're done. So this is going to be something new. Uh, I'm hoping that this turns out nice and uh, that, that everybody likes it. And if they do, we'll be on to something. So I'm going to get all this seasoned up, go get the Blackstone lit, and, uh, and we'll be back for the next segment soon. Stay tuned. All right, I've got my steaks all seasoned up. Uh, they are room temperature, so you want to cook your season and cook your steaks uh, from room temperature. They turn out better uh, that way. And so next I'm going to uh, move that out of the way and I'm going to prepare my lettuce for the salad. I'm gonna cut it up and uh, prep it uh, because I don't wanna put the steaks on the griddle until I'm ready to stand out there with it because uh, it's all done by time until you get near the end. So we'll be back. All right, welcome back. Uh, so I'm gonna get started on my salad. I'm gonna show you that whenever you get a head of lettuce, uh, you have the center core in your in your lettuce. So you don't wanna have to cut your lettuce away from that because you'll waste a lot of it. So if you simply take your head of lettuce and slam it down on a counter, what you will effectively do is, is drive the core forward into the head of lettuce and it will just come out. So you can, uh, it'll just break the leaves away from the core. Okay? So then what we're gonna need is we're going to need our salad spinner. And uh, I don't use the outer leaves of the head of lettuce and I don't use any of the brown part that's in the middle there. So we'll get rid of that. Take out what's nice and pristine here. We'll get rid of this. I like to throw things away right as I go so that I don't wind up with uh, too big of a too big of a mess. So I've had this salad spinner for a long time. It's it's great. Uh, I've already filled it with very cold water. Whenever you're prepping lettuce, you want to you want to cut your lettuce and you want to put it you want to rinse it in cold water. Um, and cold water keeps your lettuce crisp and makes it crisper. Um, to me, I think it makes it crisper, um, more crisp. A long time ago, I, I uh, worked as, as a prep cook in a restaurant here in town. Uh, and so we didn't, uh, we didn't really s cut our lettuce up into a, um, a million s uh, small pieces. We just cut it into bite-sized pieces. And then as you do that, you can just Pick your lettuce up, take it and break it up right into your, right into your uh, spinner. And the water will help separate it. As it gets crisper, 
more crisp, crisper. It, as it gets more crisp uh, in the cold water, it firms up a little bit more even and separates into very nice pieces. Uh, that's been my experience. I am not the, the uh, salad expert of the world. I've just been making salad for a long time for my family. So I uh, just cut it, every bit of it, put it in there as I go. And I cut it one time down and across a few times. I wind up with pieces that are at least an inch, one inch pieces and sometimes a little bigger. And uh, I'm not dicing it, I'm just making it so it'll go in there. Um, some of the outer leaves I'll tear apart just like that. But I'll be done cutting this up here in a minute and I'll show you what I do with it. So I've washed the salad uh, by taking my hands and I, I put it, my hands in the salad, in the lettuce, and I break it all apart like this. Let me set it just up here. You can see it really good. So I'm just grabbing it and squeezing it like this. And that will uh, force all the leaves to come apart from one another. And it also helps wash them at the same time. So you can let this sit in cold water for a few minutes if you like. Uh, it's pretty, pretty crisp. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my sink. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to let this drain over the sink for a minute. And, uh, and then I'll come back and spin this salad for you and let you see what it does. And then it will be ready to be in the refrigerator, uh, the refrigerator until dinner time. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Uh, I've got my salad here. I'm gonna spin it for you in just a moment. Uh, what I've done, we're gonna have, I'm gonna have uh, green onions on this as a garnish over top of my uh, fancy steak sauce that I'm gonna make. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken a, a bunch of green onions that I bought at Kroger. I've washed them and then off this end here, because I'm going to cut this very little end off, I've taken and I've peeled out the, off that outer layer that, you, that you'll that you find that whenever you wash these, it feels a little slimy. So I just pull it straight off, pull that one layer off and uh, throw that away. And then I wash them, get them nice and clean. Um, and then I pat them dry as best I can because uh, I don't want a bunch of water sitting in with them. So let me get my paper towels here. All I did was patted the onions with those. So I'll save those paper towels and I'll dry my hands on them probably uh, after I cut this. So I'm going to line these up. It's going to cut, just cut that end off and get rid of it. Again, I throw most things away as I go in my trash can behind me so I don't have to uh, have a lot of extra cleanup when I'm done. So I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to dice these up like. Just cut them in small pieces, circular pieces like this here. And I will put, I'll cut these all the way up and I'm gonna put them in a bowl. And then I'm gonna cover them and put them in the refrigerator until it's time to use them as a garnish. And these are great on your salad. These are great on any kind of soup. Anything else you wanna use these for. You don't have to use them all at one time, uh, but you do have to use them pretty quick after you make them, but not at the same meal. So I'm gonna finish cutting this uh, and then I'll be back to spin the salad for you and show you how I do that. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So uh, as uh, promised, I'm gonna show you my salad spinner. I've just drained the water out of here. There's still hardly any in it, but uh, it's kind of, salad's just kind of laying there. I'm gonna spin it and it just full offs that salad right up and it keeps it fresh in here. Uh, the whole time you're, uh, you know, using your salad, one thing you never want to do is you never want to, this will get spinning very fast. You never want to just spin it and pull the lid off after you've gotten it going because the centrifugal force will throw lettuce all over your kitchen. Um, trust me, I've done it lots of times. I don't know why I don't take my own advice. So I'm going to hold this down uh, nice and solid and just give it a, a few pulls. There is a break on this, but I don't, I don't I don't stop it like that. I just let it stop by itself. It's almost stopped, so I'll take it off and see how it's still spinning quite quite quickly. Uh, but how it spins it out, just kind of like a washer. And that salad is now nice and fluffy and dry. That extra water, I'm gonna take and dump that out and our salad will stay crisp in the refrigerator 
uh, for for at least a couple of days now. Uh, so Rachel or anybody can have a salad if they, whatever time they feel like having a little snack. So I'll get uh, this put away and we will get ready to go out and start uh, cooking the steaks on the griddle. Be right back. All right, welcome back. We're gonna start uh, by putting a little layer of butter on our blackstone. I just open up a stick of butter and I just do it like this and it seems to make it a lot easier than uh, than doing it the other ways. Okay, gonna get our steaks on. You can see they're nice and ready. Lay them on here and then I'm gonna set my timer for two minutes. Oh, that's, oh my goodness, <coughs> that smells amazing. The smoke got in there. Two minutes and we will flip these over in two minutes and we'll be back. All right, welcome back. It's been two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip our steaks over for the first time. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. Beautiful, mercy. Perfect. As soon as I do this, we're gonna set our timer for two more minutes again. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. And we'll be back. All right, in two minutes yet again. That's been four minutes so far. Two on each side. This will be <coughs> four minutes on the original side after I cook these for two more minutes. I'll set my timer. That'll be a total of six minutes after this. Uh, we're probably gonna cook these eight to 10 minutes total, but we'll tempt them uh, after the six minutes here, after this. All right, while I'm waiting for these to cook for the, the uh, minutes five and six, gonna go ahead and tear off six pieces of aluminum foil, about this size right here, so I have something to wrap them in whenever they're done, let them rest for about 10 minutes, uh, so the juices can reabsorb into the meat really good. We'll be back. All right, it's been two minutes again. We're going to uh, go ahead and flip them over again. Mm, look at it, looking beautiful. All right, we'll set our timer. This will be minute number seven and eight. And we shall be back. All right, it's been two more minutes. This is, uh, take them, let's flip them over. They're really looking good. Oops, that one didn't get close to it. <coughs> it's going to take a little longer for that one to cook because it's kind of thick. Let's go ahead and temp these up real quick. Let's see. Uh, this one here, 120 or so inside, 143. I'm going to take, I'm gonna take these off. All right, eight minutes it is. Time to get them off. So I'll go ahead and take each one off. I'll put it in a piece of foil like this and wrap them up, and I'll be back. All right, welcome back. The steaks are uh, ready. They're resting uh, in the aluminum foils. I told you I was going to put them and let them rest for about 10 minutes. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to use my magic bullet here. I'm going to take one brick of cream cheese that I let soften for a little bit. Not, not very long. I mean, I guess it can't really hurt to have, or however soft you have it, it can't hurt to have it. The softer, the better. I didn't want to heat it up, though. So let's put this in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my A1 steak sauce uh, in one increment or one tablespoon increments. So I'm gonna start, set this on here. And I'm going to add, I'm gonna start by adding about four. So we'll do 
four to begin with and see how that comes out. I don't want it to be too thin, but I don't want it to be too thick either. So we can always add more as we go. We're just going to make it to the way that it looks good to us. And I've uh, been excited to make this. So we got, there's four in there now. I'm going to put our lid on and blend it up a little bit and see what happens. So we're going to blend it just for about 15 seconds. See it there, okay? So that's ready. I think we'll add a, a little bit of uh, this Kinder's uh, the blend to it, which we we like that. Um, we use that on a lot of things. I'm gonna add like a oh maybe a teaspoon to it. Okay, welcome back. I added a teaspoon of uh, this Kinder's The Blend to it, and I think that's finished. I'm going to set this aside, get out our uh, lettuce, plate up uh, a meal, and we're going to have a taste test. And we'll be back soon. All right, welcome back. It's time for the taste test of the, uh, the, the top sirloin steak with the, uh, the smoked chipotle on it and the steak seasoning from Aldi's, uh, the salad that you saw me make and the sauce that you saw me make, uh, which wound up being one brick of cream cheese and one entire 10 ounce bottle of A1 sauce. Uh, and then I threw one teaspoon of the, the blend uh, in that I, the Kinder's, the blend that I showed you that we use. So the sauce is absolutely lovely. Uh, let, me, let me cut into the steak here. I've already cut into it, but I'm gonna show you how it's cooked. It looks just absolutely marvelous. It's very juicy. So I'm going to cut a piece of this off and give it a try. And that's beautiful inside. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to cut a slice off. Okay. I'm going to put a, I'll just try a piece first without any of the sauce on it. So. Mmm. Very tender. Wow, just very, very tender. Okay, let me try a little bit of with the sauce on it. I've been waiting for the sauce. I think I'll take a couple of little onions and put on mine. And give it a try. A little bit of sauce. Mmm. Wonderful. That's, uh, I like the sauce. I like uh, cream cheese and mixing the two together with a little bit of pepper. Uh, it's got a, just a load of flavor to it. Uh, it's, it's restaurant style, restaurant quality for sure. Uh, look at this, this steak is just lovely. It's so, so tender and juicy. Um, so I will have some more of this. Let me try my salad. Have, um, Mexican blend cheese on here with some the green onions I chopped up and Kroger creamy Italian dressing. Uh, our family has been eating this for decades. Uh, my father got me started on it. Here we go. Mmm, fresh. Refreshing, fresh, crisp. Uh, the flavors together are wonderful. Mmm. Fantastic. This meal is perfect, it's a hit. Just the right amount of food. Um, so uh, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Make this for your family on the Blackstone, the way that I did, I showed you with the, the timing. It wound up being about right about eight minutes total, flipping every two minutes. I didn't get to the one minute marks because uh, I didn't need to. Uh, you could even go six, seven, six minutes if you wanted them uh, less done. But. Uh, Tell your friends about us, hit the notification bell so we'll send you uh, notifications of future videos. And I'm going to eat this up and plate it up for the rest of the family because they're just waiting to eat. So until the next time we see each other, enjoy yourself, have a great rest of your night, and God bless. Is that fun?
Is that fun? <laughs>